Hey all you crafty people! We have finished page 5 and now we are working on page 6. So page 6 is going to turn into two pockets. Okay? And so the first thing we're going to do is put some strips down. Now they don't have to go much farther than, uh, than our piece here. And you want to make sure that do are we going to want to put a you know put a piece in here so that you can use the whole pocket or are we just going to glue down the edges and I am going to glue down the center and then we would have a, a more narrow pocket. I think I will add, so let's see, I've got this one, we'll do that. See, I saved all these little little pieces, and this one will do this one. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these a little shorter then the score mark, the score line, make them a little shorter because you don't want to get into... Okay, let me go ahead and cut these. Alright. So, then we will just... This one down a half inch mark, and this one down a half inch mark. One of them's a little shorter than an inch, but not by a whole lot. Okay, so now we have these done, and I am going to cut the tops off sideways here. So we're not going to see all of that bulk right here. All right. Put this back. Keep our area neat and tidy. Okay, especially when you guys are trying to see what I'm doing and I got, you know, a million things everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so we're going to get some glue and go ahead and put these right, just match corner to corner and edge to edge there we go corner to corner edge to edge this one actually, I'm going to take it down just a smidge more. There we go. Edge to edge, corner to corner. There we go. Okay, so now those are ready to close. And I'm going to make a little mark where the pocket goes. I don't know if you can see those, but I can. So I know that I need to make this piece longer than that by about a half an inch. And I don't, I don't have to... Uh, really worry. So there we'll have those two right here. Now the funny thing about these is <laughs> I'm using the back cover. Now this has got one of those big plastic things and I tried taking it off and it, it is ripping the paper so um, 
not going to be usable, but the rest of it is. And I thought, you know what? Why not? Uh, I I kind of looked between the they might be a titch shiny where the other ones are not, but other than that, uh, there's not a lot of difference. They may be a titch uh, deeper in color, but they're not going to be on the same page more than likely. So I do not think that there's going to be anything to really worry about. So there is that. And this one. I'm going to flip this around so I can see what I'm doing. It's one thing with my allergies, it, 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 it messes up my eyesight. I don't know about you guys, and I'm pretty sure because there are days that my eyesight is great, and then there, and there are days I'm like, what? And I, you know, I clean my glasses thinking, oh, it's just my glasses. My glasses are dirty. That's what it is. Nope. Okay. Now, I'm thinking, oh, I did want to go across here as well and I do want to leave a space let's see how that does there. Okay. Cut it maybe a tit shorter than I like, but it's not bad. Okay. All right. And then I was really thinking I was digging these lines. Come on. All righty then. Sorry about this, guys. And again, it's... I think I did pull it out. Yes. There was a little top glue sticking out the top that was dry. Okay. So yeah, I think that these are going to work wonderfully. And it's going to save me paper. Yay! Save me paper. That's what we love that. Save paper. Okay, so now this does not have to go all the way down. So I'm going to cut this right here. And I'm going to cut this right there. Okay. Come on. Boop -a -boo. Let's cut this piece. No, let's cut this piece. We need to keep as long pieces as we can. There we go. Yummy. And then we can take this bit off. And it will still be very usable. Right, and we're going to ink it. Oh, 
Okay. Very nice. Very nice. And then that's closing. And that looks really super cool. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I thought about this. But that is just really, really busy. Even though this is kind of a background page and would be fine. I just love... I love stripes. I love stripes. But, of course, you can do it either way you want. Absolutely. Either way you want. I do have to find some place to use this blue paper because I love the, all these birds in the blue. I just, I really do love it. But, Got to find just the right spot for it. Okay. We're going to work on getting our little blue edge all the way around. And that's looking pretty good. Be a little over. Okay. There we go. Now, before we glue this down, we're going to flip everything around. We're going to use our grid, and we're going to find our center. So I've got one, two, three, four, and a little more than a quarter, and one, two, three, four, and a little more than a quarter. So there's our center, and I cut this piece to go here. And I keep getting all of my stuff. I hate leaving these... Um, ink things open because I am notorious for getting something stuck on top and absorbing all of that lovely ink, especially when it's black. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've messed up with that one. Okay, so now that I have my center, I can just come right here and lay that down. There we go. And this way I'm going to have paper come all the way out to the edges so you won't have the blue coming all the way here. You'll have the blue here. Just to change it up a little bit so not every page is totally with the blue lines. You know? Just got to Got to change that up a little bit. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so now we can go ahead and close our pocket down. Here we go. And I am, oh, wait a minute. I also wanted to glue down the center. I am kind of pushing a little bit in from the outside so that I get these to pop up a little bit, just a little. And then it makes where there's it's so much easier to get something into those pockets. Ah, uh, you get my magic. It, oh, what was on that? Huh. Okay, let's. There, take it all off. This is worth its weight in gold. It's called adhesive remover, I think. Gum adhesive, gum remover, adhesive remover, um, something like that. And I've had this for absolutely years. Um, 
it's wonderful to have when you're a beginner especially because if you make a mistake and you pull something up you can pretty much get your adhesive off it, it just works wonders and it's a good tool to have near you so now I do want to make sure that I'm not gluing my pocket closed and that that is glued down yes okay so now I have two little pockets here so I can fit stuff I can fit stuff isn't that cool so I think that one will probably stay in in this book I might uh, line it with black that's pretty but um, these are a little flimsy this is a, a pretty thick paper um, it's like a okay all right uh, but now we need to work on what we're going to put here do I like the green no <sighs> do I like the roses not really I have the birds that's okay. I have these birds. And it's almost large enough. Hmm. Well, I can certainly have a little black all the way around. Birds are pretty, 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 but I don't know that that's my, my fave either. Don't really want to use that. Whoops, come here. Oh. Bird watcher. That would be pretty. And then I could have that piece there. There's enough blue. Um and now that I'm not needing See one piece ought, one one piece all the way across ought to be able to do it, but then that's my only ones that are long because these are going to be shorter because you can't cut it this way and get the same look. So you have to pay attention to what you use and how you use it. Really, really, really. And this is too small, but it would look pretty. Um, we have not really tried this, so I could cut this at the right piece all the way across, and I should be able to do both with that one piece. Yes, let's do this. Okay, so I want it to be the same size as my strip. Okay. Right there. Okay. There we go. Let me go ahead and erase that mark. going to want a little black edge around this so let's cut this where's my line 
right there. So this might be a little crooked, <laughs> but you know, you got to do with what you got to do. So we'll make it work. We will make it work. And then this is going to need just a titch cut off. Let's make it up here because it's lighter. Okay. Okay. Very nice. So let's just take off a smidge okay ink pretty quiet haven't I just kind of realized that I'm not talking to you guys at all <laughs> I guess I'm sleepy and such a relaxing day I um, I have a lot of food allergies so there's you know there's a lot of times that there's things I just can't eat and um, but I found a recipe last week I guess for waffles that I could make and eat which is not always easy for me to find recipes that I can eat. So I made them uh, last week, I guess. My son actually bought me, I think last year for Mother's Day, a waffle maker. And I've had an awful time trying to find, well, since then I had been retested for food allergies and found out that the things that I was using to make waffles, I couldn't eat. So. So, you know, then it was back to the drawing board. And, uh, yeah, so I found this recipe last week and made myself a couple waffles to try the recipe out. Tweaked the recipe a little bit, then ate the, didn't eat, but um, made the rest of the waffles. Took a couple bites of those and said, oh, yeah. So I wrote that recipe down so that... I would remember what I did, what tweaking I did to it. So, yeah, that was that was a very nice, yummy. Yeah, that looks good. And then this is the same flower, so very nice. Yep. Um, and then this one, I'll just take a black. Uh, let's see. Let's just cut a piece off of this one. I think this is a good height. And then we're going to cut it right there. I like to make sure that we have all of the tags taken care of so we're not so 
so we don't run out. Okay, so there is there's not this is just folded over so there's not anything down there. I don't know what it's sticking on. So there is page six guys. Yay! I thank you very much. Um, now you know we can doll this up once we get to a point. you know we can we can put fun things on here and stuff. you know I don't do that until the end. So, all right, guys, join me back again for page seven. Love you all. Bye. Welcome back, all you crafty people. This is Lisa. We are going to be working on, uh, let's see, this is four, five, six. This is page seven. We have not actually completed seven pages. We've only, this will be our sixth pa page completed up to this point. Um, if you remember page four, which is the back, oops, the back of this uh, first page that we put in, in the book, I want to use um, leftover pieces. So that's what that one's getting. So anywho, uh, I have some strips cut up. I went through my black and I had two black strips. This, let's see, what is it? Uh, two and three eighths. And you can cut it any width you want to. You can make them a little, you know, it, use whatever you have already cut up. If you don't have a, something this wide or you have something a little wider, use it. Use it, use it, use it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make two pockets. So I am going to make a half inch on both of these. So I do not think that we can get a whole one out of one. I have 12 inch paper maybe, but not 11. Okay, so we're gonna, let's burnish. Okay, so we're going to put this up to the score line, but not over. Line it up with the bottom of the page and make a mark where you're going to want to make another score mark. And then I'm going to move this one up a little ways and do the same thing. Okay, so then we're going to bring our tool back. I'm going to make a mark. I mean, uh, take that mark and score it. And I'm just going to eyeball and leave a half an inch. Duh! <laughs> I'm glad I caught myself before I did any more damage. <laughs> okay, so this will go back into my black papers. So we're always going to check those first. And we've made our marks, so we can go ahead. And now we can check. We don't need this anymore. Now we can check what we've done. Cool beans, there's that. And then some up, some way up here, I'm gonna put that cut on the bottom so it won't show near as much. Okay, so that so far is working perfectly. Now, um, on these, first thing I wanna do is across the bottom, I'm going to put a blue strip. Find out where I'm going to cut that. Do oops, that one's not long enough. Do the same thing here. Okay. 
Do these line up? By gosh, by golly, they do. Yep, they do very nicely. Okay, let me get this. And then we're going to ink these and glue them down. Yes, I'm glad I thought of that because that is saving me paper that I can use for something else. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, and um, I did that one. Yes. So let's get these down. I went out, check on, see how everything was going out in the living room with my husband and my puppies. And I walked out and he says, what do you need, my love? Can I get you something? Oh my gosh. He does that a lot. But it's just very special. My um, one son, though, my youngest one, he's kind of estranged. He did not call me. So, I mean, oh well. I think that's year number two that I haven't heard from him. So, uh, we did hear from him, oh, maybe about 18 months ago. But that's been about it. I think that's I think that's a, a a long it's long enough. I certainly don't like it. But there's nothing I can do. I love him. I pray for him. I can't live his life for him. He's making choices that I don't agree with, I guess. I I mean I don't know what he's doing. I don't know where he's working. I don't know where he's living. I think he's still in Florida. Who knows? I don't know. Um, yeah. So, anyway, what are you going to do, kids? My husband's father always said, when you got kids, you got nothing but kids. And my dad always called all the kids ankle biters. <laughs> and then once I had, you know, once... once we became a family. It was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm totally seeing that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know of what they speak. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so now I believe. Let's see. Does this fit on? Ooh, that will make pretty. That will make pretty. I am going to cut two sets of two. Let's do that. And then that will be, because I did use stamps on the very first page of this section, I used some stamps. And I thought it would be nice to bring the stamps back in on this page. Okay, there we go. And then... I believe I'm going to use this for the background uh, in between each one of the pockets. So we will do that in a little while. Um, so another thing on this, because I'm not going to be able to use both ends, there's the blue strip. Well, this one's green and this one's blue, but I'm going to go ahead and take the strips off. And then we'll go from there. Okay. 
So now let's see. We're going to have, be able to have... It's a little large, but that's okay. I, I don't mind it that much. All the birds are upside down, though. <laughs> I'm just noticing that. So oh, don't cut it just yet. So I could figure out something to put at the top, and I did come across a little bit of lace that I didn't know if I was going to like with this or not. But let me see if I put this across there. No, no, I'm not really wild about that at all. If I hadn't put this blue down here, maybe, but yeah, not wild about that at all all at all at all you, well you know what I can do put this down and then cut where I need to I don't need to leave it this height at all there's no reason <laughs> none whatsoever okay so so don't pigeonhole yourself into trying to figure out something that you have to do you can you don't have to leave the pocket that big there's nothing in the world that says that the pocket has to be whatever this was, two and a quarter or whatever. Nothing. 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 Okay, so we've got that. We're going to ink it. I always turn it upside down because I really don't want to get ink on this side. I just want to get the edges. And if you are this way, and you angle, you angle your inker, it's going to get the edges, but not too much onto the top part of your paper. Just a little fact, little helpful hint, little hack, whatever you want to call it. Whatever, 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 whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you would think I had taken a nap because now all of a sudden you can't shut me up. <laughs> Just rambling on. Rambling Rose. Oh, look, I'm a rambling Rose. Alrighty. So we're going to line. Line ourselves up with the strip. Leaving ourselves a nice little edge all the way around. And now, if you, there is a, there is much larger black space at the top. Now, if that bothers you, cut it off. If it doesn't, leave it. I'm thinking, it, to me, it looks like I forgot something. So, I am going to give this a little cut. And I'm liking it much better now. Much better. There we go. See? Easy peasy fix. Easy peasy. Peasy easy peasy. Peasy easy peasy. Okay, same thing with this one. Oh, I don't know why I put my cutter away. Easy peasy. Easy easy peasy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, now I'm uh, wound for sound. I guess maybe my drink. Excuse me for a moment. Excuse me. Um, I call it Nana Juice because when my grandson comes, he likes juice. But you know, it is so full of sugar. So, and I can only drink blueberry, grape, and apple juice. I, I can't do any of the other fruit juices. And sometimes it's hard, to, it's really hard to find the blueberry that's not just tart. Um, and because I'm not, I don't like tart, so that's kind of hard for me. But, so this one seems like it's going to be a nice size. Perfect size, actually. Okay. I might have to cut it down a smidge. 
But no, that works really nice. So let me make a mark here. I want this to be the same as the strip. So anyway, what was I saying now? Oh, so I make uh, when he has when he wants juice. I call it my Nana juice, and I fill up. I I put half half a glass of ice, and then into the ice I pour the apple juice, and then over the apple juice I pour water. So he's getting his apple juice. And I, I might put a little bit above the ice for him. For me, I put a little bit below the ice. So it makes it flavored water without me getting, you know, drinking all my calories. <laughs> and him, it keeps him from getting so hyper from sugar. Uh, yeah, so... Although he's convinced that mommy cannot make uh, Nana juice. So <laughs> only Nana can make Nana juice. So when mommy's home, that trick doesn't work. <laughs> uh, uh, only Nana can make Nana juice. You can't make Nana juice. You're mommy. You can't make Nana juice. That's what he told her. So funny. So yeah, the first thing he wants when he gets to the house, I say, you thirsty? I would love Nana juice, please. Yeah, because his mom's been coaching him all the way home with my husband. Now, what are you going to ask for your mama? You know, because I usually stay with the dogs, and um, I, I, I don't go. Well, this time I had a, a migraine like the week before they came, so I was still cleaning. Not so much cleaning, but just kind of getting everything ready for them. And... Uh, and um, getting a shower for myself and things like that. So I was, I did not go to the, that is not quite straight. Okay. There we go. But the pocket is a little cockly eyed. I'm going to take a smidge off the pocket yeah not much that was um yeah there we go so now we have our two pockets so yeah so nana juice is um is really popular around my house nana juice <laughs> i love it okay so now we have our two pockets and I'm going to glue them down, and then I'm going to leave a little black space, I think. Or, no, I think not. Let's see. Let's see. Um, ruler. Here it is. If I do this... That is about from one pocket to the next inch and three quarters. And then up here, it's a little over two. So let's just, I don't know, visually that looks fine to me, doesn't it? I think so. I think so. Okay. So I'm going to, where am I? pencil. I'm going to draw a line here so I know that that's where that one's going to go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this down just a little bit below. Let me figure out where this one's at. So I'm going to go a little bit below and a little bit above, not much above. So I'm going to cut right there and so I can save some paper. Mm. 
going to cut right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that cut first. So that will give me the largest piece. Okay, and then right here, okay, so let's see, put this one here, so I'm going to do a little line here across the there okay so I put little lines little light lines uh, across the score mark so that I can get this down evenly so that I have a nice line on both sides but I'm going to be within th this pocket and within this pocket. Okay? So I'm also wondering if I can do this because then it just makes it go down easier and make sure it's straight and I think I will do it that way. So, um, I am going to go ahead and glue this pocket down and I'm going to just snip the edges off the pockets, little, just a little triangle off of the pocket right down here on both sides so it doesn't show. Don't forget close the bottom and let's lay this right down along the bottom of my page and I've got it all the way to the edge on this side and that keeps it approximately an eighth of an inch away from the first score line, which is perfect. Okay, and then we're going to... I know you're not going to be able to see it, but you are going to see the sides. So that's really all you needed to... Uh... And then this, I'm going to slide in... Mm hmm there we go yeah that'll be perfect that will be perfect so I'm going to put a little bit in the center but I'm not going to put a buildup of glue down the sides because I don't want to do anything that's going to glue my pocket together. Okay so now I have that mark where I know I have to have be up above that but I'm going to find my happy place with the lines. This It makes it a little easier because this has lines through it so now I know I am past where this pocket is going to go down and it is all going to be looking good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I love it. Okay, same thing. Snip. Snip. Get rid of those. All of a sudden it just all builds up and you got little pieces of stuff all over the place. And I am bent, bound, and determined that I'm going to keep my space as nice as I can. It just makes sense. 
So, you know, once in a while I get in here and all I do is just kind of organize it. I just come in for five minutes. What can I do? Real quick, organize. And then, you know, that's all the time I had. Okay, now I gotta find that line where I'm at. Is that that line? Am I there? Yeah. Am I straight? No. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Okay. This is busy, but remember, once you start sticking items in there, it breaks it up. So then it's not quite so bad. And, you know, I do have the pages that have these smaller uh these smaller pieces and I wanted something that I could you know someplace that I could really let these shine okay so now I'm gonna do the same thing this should fit right down in there and it does and then I'm gonna have my little black edge all the way around and let me see how deep this is going. See, I don't need it that deep, so I'm going to have a nice little hmm, half inch. What is that? What is that? Yeah, it's just, just right at a half inch. A little bit more. But it all counts at this point. <laughs> right? It all counts. Yes. Okay. So we're going to ink this. I don't have to ink the bottom because it's going to be underneath the page. Again, don't put it all the way to the bottom. And then just kind of in the center, run you a little bit of glue. And you want to get it over the little tabs and then find your edges. Make them all nice and similar. And that is not straight. Wait a minute. Okay, there's that. And that. There we go. Much better. Much better. Yeah, so once you start putting stuff in there, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. See, we have that that we can put in here. This one will probably get used on something because it's very pretty. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And we have, if I could pick the darn thing up. See, they didn't get all of the pieces and parts out of this stuff. I mean, gosh, least you could do is get all the pieces and parts out of it. <laughs> I do when I sell die, die cuts, for heaven's sakes. Yeah, now that one doesn't look great there. Looks good on that though, and then it brings this color over. Yeah, that might get put on there. Up on the top a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Maybe, you know, you never know. Things things will change. But, so there is number seven. So let's see, because we have this one left to do on here. We've done these. 
and I have this page and this page to do that I'm thinking I'm going to do with leftovers. And then this page I'm going to leave blank until I finish the next set. But until we start, before we start that, before I say toodaloo for this time, I wanted to go over everything I have. Now I have this piece, only thing is that one little strip that's just like this one that I cut off. So all of my um, pictures and stuff, you know, my little cards, I still have one sheet of that uh, available. Um, I have about a half a sheet of my stamps. Um, this is the back cover, so there's about a half a sheet of that. Let me get all my pieces here. Okay. Um, there's a sheet, probably about a half a sheet that way. And then I have the birds or stripes. It's a little less than half a sheet. And then I have this piece, which is a little less than half a piece. It's got the blue on the back. Uh, and then I have a little bit and a little bit. I couldn't save any of those. I could cut out the little bird, another little bird, flowers. Um, not much left on that one to cut out, but uh, those are some possibilities. Then, and we've, we're halfway done now. We have we have literally done six pages, so we're halfway done with our pages. Um, now remember, we've already pulled out things for our book. So, um, you know, for the in, for the uh, the covers, and I think I pulled one out for the inside covers, which is not going to be enough. But um, I've got the box uh, pages out for the box. And I have a third page of the 12 by 12, which I think I'm going to grab. And uh, I, I might, what I might do is on the pages that are going to be full of um, bits and pieces, that I will probably incorporate some of that page in there, just so it's, it's in, you know, it's, it's available, available. And uh, then, but still, in my book, now I have this piece as well, and I have a, a, a good use for it, and it's going to be really, really, really quite cute. So I am going to cut out, fussy cut out all of this, and then across this line, and across down here. So I will be using this as well. And I have one full sheet of this. Okay. And I'm saving this for the, the last four sheets. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I need to use, I need to use only this for, um, well, I guess all I've got is the two back pages, which I don't like to do until I do all the front pages. So, so everything, everything's game now. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, I have um, this page. I have one full one of these, and remember I had like a, a half a one in a section. Um, and I have one with the birds, and it's the feathers on the back. And then this is the only one I have for these cards, and that's the green on the back. So, um, yeah, so this one and this one right now, I'm going to put off to the side so that I don't inadvertently uh, come on this is the last page and it usually sometimes does get and I'm going to just cut this off because if I rip it I'll be very un unhappy with myself <laughs> oh come on There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put these two off to the side because 
we don't want to use those. Um, all right, so uh, we're not in bad shape. We we um, I've got four full sheets, and <laughs> we're not in bad shape. Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah, we're we're this will be fun. We'll get it. We'll get it. I've got I've got confidence. <laughs> So guys, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Get your stuff. You know, and I wanted to let you guys know, you can use any paper pack you want to use. Um, obviously, I, I would not suggest a 6x6 six six unless you, you know, just that's what you have and so then use it. Just, you'll have to uh, really do a lot of building with your papers. But, um... Yeah, if you have a, an 8x8 graphic 45, well, there's always going to be some kind of print like this that you can cut and do strips with, okay? Um, they usually do have a page that's, you know, get got small little things or whatever. And so, you know, they're all going to be able to you'll be able to figure out something that you can use uh, in place of what I'm using if you don't have this bird watcher. Um, but this is a, a fairly simple, straightforward uh, process that we're doing. So, uh, until next time, guys. Mwah! Love you so much. I'll talk to you later. Keep those comments coming. Love them. I'm loving them. I'll talk to you later. Bye.